So when you're managing your farm, you're going to run into certain uh, problems along the way, and that's okay. It's totally normal. One of those problems is the toxicity of ammonia, and that happens when um, the, the fish produce enough ammonia to actually cause harm to themselves, it's similar to how we deal with uh, carbon dioxide and things like that. So um, inside of the dashboard, you'll see this chart, and this will indicate where you are in your farm and how toxic the actual or how much on unionized ammonia is in the system and so this is commonly used by um, people who are doing aquaculture and that that's to make sure that their their unionized ammonia doesn't get too high and so this is actually a really important metric to watch even more important than the the tan or the ammonia levels and it, it's involved with the ammonia level so it's almost the same thing but this is the actual cause of death and so when you actually look at this number right now, it's at 0 0.0085 and it's in the blue zone. So it's OK. But if you wanted to play around and understand how these different factors affect the toxicity of ammonia in your system, um, then you could actually just hit this and it'll toggle all the, the controls and you can begin to see as your temperature drops, the ammonia level or the unionized ammonia is changing. Um, in addition to pH and the tan values as well. So you could see when it gets really high, it becomes extremely toxic. And that's when you may experience some fish death. And so this is actually a really important thing to watch. And you can see um, if you're dealing with more higher levels of pH, you may want to actually look up here and you can see this is the toxicity level over pH and temperatures and things like that. So you could actually play around and learn how the water's changing and the, how the ammonia changes um, inside of these different parameters.